Hello and welcome back to my channel. Did you know that Hyperland is part of the official Arch Linux installation script? You can install Arch Linux and Hyperland in around seven minutes, plus a bit time to configure your system. And here we are, Hyperland with wallpaper and Waybar on top with a workspace indicator and Wofi with Dolphin and Firefox. The Arch Linux installation script is chipped with the Arch Linux ISO that you can download from the homepage. In that Arch Linux installation script, you can select between several profiles to install your preferred desktop environment. I will show you how you can install Hyperland with the Arch Linux installation script in a virtual machine. But of course, you can do this on real hardware as well. Let me show you how it works. First, you have to download the latest Arch ISO from the archlinux.org website. Now I open the Virtual Machine Manager because I will install Hyperland with the Arch installer in a virtual machine. So I create a new virtual machine, click on forward, I browse to the download file, then forward, 8 gigs, 12 CPUs, forward, I choose 30 gigs for my hard disk, forward, the name is install hyperlint, and I customize the configuration before starting the installation, because I have to switch from BIOS to UEFI boot options. So I have to enable the CD-ROM, move it to the top and enable the boot menu. I click on apply. Let's see, yeah, the ISO for Arch Linux is in the CD-ROM available. And now we are already prepared to start the virtual machine. I choose Arch Linux install medium. First, I need to set the keyboard layout to the E Latin one. And then we are already prepared to start Arch install. Please make sure that you have an internet connection available in my virtual machine. Is that already the case? Arch install language is fine. English, the mirrors. I choose the mirror region, Germany. Then the locales. I change the keyboard layout to DE Latin one. You can search for a keyboard layout with slash rest is fine this configuration use the best effort i choose here vidio block device 30 gigs butterfs sub volumes yes please create it for me and the compression can be enabled system boot bootloader i want to replace it with grub swap true is fine hostname arch linux is fine the root password And I will add the user account with add user. And yeah, it should be a super user. I confirm and exit. And now we come to the profile for the installation. I select profile desktop and here you see here's Hyperland. I can select it and confirm with back. Audio not required. Now we come to the additional packages. I will install Dolphin. This is the standard file manager. I will install Hyperpaper to set up a wallpaper. Firefox is the standard browser for Hyperland. Wofi is the application launcher. Alacrity will be my new terminal. And the status bar is waybar, way bar. And we also need a special font for the icons, font or sum. And now we have the additional packages for Hyperland already defined. Network configuration, copy the existing network configuration into my installation and the time zone is Berlin for me. And we can start the installation.
The packages will be installed now for the core Arch Linux system. And now the additional packages that we have defined will be installed. Alacrity, Dolphin, Firefox, Hyperpaper, the font Awesome, and Waybar and Wofi. Final steps of the installation. And that's it. I don't need to change root into the new created installation. All of the packages are installed. Yeah. And here you see it, six minutes and 23 seconds in total for the installation of the core packages of Hyperland. That is, this is fast, right? Okay, let's exit and shut down our new system. What I want to do now is to activate the 3D acceleration in video vid.io 3D acceleration and in display spice the listen type is none and open gl is required and i click on apply and let's see no cd-rom selected anymore in the boot option so i can remove the cd-rom and i click on apply and now let's start the system again system is booting up here is grub And here is SDDM, our session manager. I, I log in and welcome to Hyperland. That installation was easy, right? But some configuration steps are still needed. Let me exit Hyperland with super key M and switch to another terminal. Now I log in. and cd into the config folder into hyper and here is our main configuration file for hyperland with wim hyperland i can open it first one is that i remove this line and then that yellow bar on top will disappear the monitor i will change the screen resolution to 1920 1080 and I don't want to scale something then exit once and here I load waybar and hyperpaper with starting the hyperland window manager the keyboard layout is not us it's de from my computer and then let me scroll down because I also want to change some key bindings. The two key bindings that I usually need. The queue to open a terminal is for me always super key return. And I will start Alacrity. Then the key binding to close an application is super key queue. Exit is fine to exec Dolphin, the file manager is also fine. Here to launch Wofi, the application launcher, I will change it to super key control return. And then Wofi will start. And I think that's it for now. Let's save it and reboot the system. We are back in SDDM. And here we are on Hyperland with the right screen resolution, with Waybar on top. I can open Alacrity with super key return. I can open Wofi with control super key return. And I can start Firefox and I can start Dolphin. So everything works from the beginning. So if you run Hyperland in a virtual machine, then you should set two environment variables. Let's do this by CD into the config folder, hyper, 
and create a new file with win start hyper.sh. And then you have to enter the following commands. These are the two environment variables that you need. And if this is set, then you can start hyperlint with exec hyperlint. Let's save it with change mod plus x start hyper. You make the file executable. And I will now disable the session manager sddm with sudo systemctl disable sddm dot service. Yeah, it's now removed. And what happens now when I reboot the system? And you see now I'm in the text base login in the command line login for Arch Linux. And I can switch now to config hyper and start the script with start hyper.sh. And we are back in Hyperland and now we have a much better performance in the virtual machine. And also the mouse cursor is working now correctly. Let's download a wallpaper from my GitLab. In wallpaper, you can find my wallpaper collection. And let's download Apex Octane. Click here on download and the download is complete. We can close Firefox and open a terminal and open again the config folder and create a new file with vim hyperpaper.conf. Let's open Firefox and search for hyperpaper and open the first page, hyperpaper GitHub page, and scroll down. And you see here what you have to put into that file. Let's open again another terminal and cd into your home directory, open the downloads folder. And here you see the Apex Octane JPEG. And with these two commands, you can preload the wallpaper Apex Octane and set it then as a wallpaper for Hyperland. Let's save it. Let's enter hyperpaper. And the wallpaper has been set successfully. And when you exit hyperlint and start hyperlint again, the wallpaper should come up. The last change is to activate the workspace indicator for Waybar on the upper left side. Let's cd into config and create a folder with mkdir waybar. And then we can copy the default config file into this new folder. Yeah. Then open the waybar folder and here is now the config file. With vim config we can open it and replace here sway with wlr and you can remove all these modules here. Let's save and quit the file. Kill all waybar will kill the waybar on top. And with Waybar, you can reload it again. And now you see here on top a number one. When I switch to works with number two, and number two appears. Okay, now we have also the workspace indicators available. And Waybar must be started with Hyperlens boot up. So let's check this again with Vim Hyperland conf. And here is Waybar already defined as an autostat application. Let's give it a try. We exit 
hyperlint and start hyperlint again. And here we are, hyperlint with wallpaper and waybar on top with a workspace indicator and Wofi with Dolphin and Firefox. And that's it. Was easy, right? Arch Linux plus Hyperland with the Arch Linux installation script. A full running system, a great starting point for your Hyperland experiences. Have fun with it and see you next time.